her for advice. She's got time for absolutely everybody. But let's move on to the next event, the men's 200 metres freestyle S14. And there's the start list. That's official one to eight. In just a moment's time, they'll be taking to the starting block. The S14 class, of course, swimmers with an intellectual disability. This was the classification just reintroduced to the Paralympic programme in London in 2012 after a 12 year absence. Of course, there was a big issue with the classification of these intellectual disability athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, back in Sydney the in 2000. The following that, there was a big review of the classification process, and the IPC were satisfied that the the procedure for classifying these athletes was robust enough to reintroduce the class to the London Paralympic Games last year. So this is the first of the S14 events for athletes with an intellectual disability at these championships. Dan Pepper goes in lane number one. Dan Pepper, the reigning champion in this one actually from 2010 in the outside lane. In Cook Lee from Korea in two. Daniel Fox, the world record holder from Australia in three. Won Sang Cho in four. He looked good this morning in the heat. But so did this man, the Paralympic champion, John Margir Sverison from Iceland. Why Lok Tang from Hong Kong goes in lane six. A Hong Kong with a big representation in the S14 class. Ben Proctor, the second GB swimmer in lane seven. Bronze medalist at both the European and the World Championships in the last couple of years. And Satoru Miziaki from Japan in the outside lane in lane eight. Final of the men's 200 freestyle S14 class. This promises to be one of the great races of these championships. Chow away there in 0.69, very quick off the blocks. We've got reaction times across the scoreboard. There's not much in it at the moment, Paul, across the field here. All eight competitors, four lengths off the pool, though, but going very well in lane number two is Lee. Right, Lee, it was first of the turn. It's Korea one, Korea two. In Cook Lee and Won Sang Cho, one and two, the two Koreans. John Margius Ferrison, the Paralympic champion in third position. The world record holder, Daniel Fox, down in fifth at the moment in 28.08. Daniel Fox finished very well today in the heat. And I remember John Margius Ferrison finishing like a train in the Paralympic final last year. The Paralympic champion is just about in third place now when there is Won Sang Cho from Korea still in first and in Kut Lee, Korea still in second. 57s and 58s at the 100 metre turn. Fox down in 58-1-0 in fourth place, but he should come through. But the third 50 is so crucial, there seems to be some separation of the field. And in lane number four, Chow starting to edge ahead, perhaps a little bit more ahead of lane number five, Stoson. Stoson out in the swim of his life, Stoson in second, just 34 hundredths of a second down. Fox coming through now, just 0.68 away from the gold medal. But look at this now. They're inside the final 25, they're approaching the final 15. Looks like... Well, I'll let you call this, Paul. Yes, I think Daniel Fox is coming through for Australia. Here, the world record holder, but the Paralympic champion, John Margius Ferrison, now coming past the Korean in the middle. But the world record holder is going to be the world champion. Daniel Fox from Australia, 158.45. Three one hundredths of a second outside his own world record, but the world record holder delivered on the big stage. He finished fast this morning, but he was fifth in the early stages. He came through at the end and took the title. Daniel Fox from Australia is the champion. Fourth at the 100 metres, he just looked very, very comfortable. 
and fourth doesn't sound that great but when you look at official split times and you realize that he's a very strong back end swimmer and he raises the race at the third 50 and that's when it matters and he can maintain that speed that velocity all the way down in the closing stage and that's what marks him as the well the world champion what more can you say other than he truly deserves that victory right there John Margius Ferrison from Iceland, the Paralympic champion, coming up into second position. Did exactly what he did in London, came through really strongly in the closing stages. He was faster than he went in London, broke the European record, but he wasn't fast enough to catch that man, the world record holder. Daniel Fox is a champion, 